Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we've got a very unique little selfie drone to share with you today. This is called the Air Selfie E03. We'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out, uh, see a little more detailed information on it after you watch the video. And uh, let's take a closer look inside the box to see what you get. I'm pretty excited to see the level of quality on something that comes in a box this small. There's actually some really good weight to this box and it's made really well. I feel like I'm opening a brand new phone or something. It just is a very high level of quality. So inside here, right on top, we have our Air Selfie Drone. And as a bit of a size reference, this is a Note 4, a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And uh, there you see it's about, the, <laughs> it's smaller than that. Uh, now I've already had this out to charge it, but you guys can see Look at that, smaller than my phone. Exactly the same size as my wallet. Very cool, it has this rubber shell around it and I thought that was really interesting. I'm not quite sure if that's for flight or just for shipment because to charge it, you have to take that little rubber shell off and it really shouldn't make much of a difference for flight, I wouldn't think. It's a little, you know, a little bit of weight shedding off of there and probably a little bit of protection, but my goodness, I mean, that is just crazy. Very crazy. We have brushless motors here with six bladed props. Just a very, very unique little design. We have a forward facing camera, a charge port on the back, a built in battery, and then we have an on off switch on the bottom as well as a visual positioning system. Okay, the drone itself. Now, believe it or not, this is around $200 and it's uh, crazy to think that something that small is going to cost that much but we're hoping for a high level of quality here with this one this big box here is actually its charging port now you can charge it directly through the usb on the back but it comes with a very special modified way to charge this drone what you do is just insert the drone into the box it fits snugly in place here once it's plugged in you have a little indicator to tell you that it's charging or when it's fully charged and this is kind of nice because again, that whole system is the same size as my phone. So I can charge on the go with my little selfie drone. So I like the charging method. I don't know how many charges you can get out of that. No clue, but I did charge this. It's first full charge from this bay. And uh, you can charge the bay itself through this little charge port on the side. Very cool. I really like that. I really like this whole concept. It's kind of like, you know, those wireless earbuds for your iPhone. They have those little, uh, the charging bay that you pop them in. Uh, it's kind of a similar concept with that. So really cool. In the box, we have a few little things. I think we have spare props here. Yeah, there's two spare props in here and two spare props in here. So a total of four. We have our instruction manual in here. And then in this small box, we have, I think it was just the USB charge cable. Yeah. So that's how you get everything nice and charged. Uh, basically, little drone comes with a cool charging bay, spare props, and a USB charger. I'm really excited to get this flying because this is definitely the most expensive small drone we've ever seen on the channel. That flies from your phone. It's crazy. It is crazy. All right, we got a slide to take off. Mm, no. I can't see that. It sounds really bad too. It's like ducted fans. Let's try this again. That did not do good at all. Okay, that was a little better. I think that was actually my fault because I needed to do a... Uh, a... Cough. Cough. Yes, which I'm not used to doing. It sounds kind of funny because it's got those ducted fans. I'm gonna go ahead and press film so you guys can get some video action because that's what this is all about. We are filming. I'm using the little Wi-Fi FPV and it's doing okay. Surprisingly, it's totally hovering in place completely on its own. Definitely. This is on the selfie mode beginner. Definitely got some type of position hold because we have a light breeze and I'm not touching the controls this entire time this is all it so let me do a little rotation yeah it's not on selfie mode because it's not facing us <laughs> I'm rotating a little bit here I think 
it's kind of the opposite direction and that's okay that's me flying it with like tilt control I think still trying to learn these controls it's a little odd very odd and it's coming down that's on its own not me Text message. okay I don't know what's going on there I got fired Abby is gonna see if she can do a little bit better Ooh, that was like less than one minute. Oh my gosh. Wow. So we did learn that the power bank that it came with is a 12,600 milliamp bank. This is a 240 milliamp. Right. And it barely flew for a minute. We hit record. Nathan hit record. And nothing saved in my phone. There's so. no memory card slot. Is there an internal memory? Well, it does. Actually, you're right. Yes, it has four gigs of internal memory. So I think when we plug it into the computer, we'll be able to access that. So a minute. Flight time. Awesome. Yeah. I guess we have to recharge this. Yeah, so we'll charge we it again for you guys. Do some more? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, guys. We are back for round two. As Abby is getting this reconnected, the drone itself has a 240 milliamp battery, which is extremely small. I was expecting at least a three or four minute flight, but I think we were closer to about a minute to a minute and a half. Now the battery pack that comes with it is 12,600 milliamps, so we should essentially be able to charge this all day long. But if we're only going to get a one minute flight, that's pretty horrible. We need to calibrate it. Okay. This is how you do the calibration. You just, which I didn't do for my first flight, in all fairness. Calibration completed. Now, you Very can nice. go into your phone and go to camera. Okay. And for the focus. photos, you can decide if you want a 3 second delay 5 or 10, so you can put your smartphone away. Ah. And then you can also do multiple shots. I like that. That's on 10 pictures. That seems kind of excessive. We'll put ours on 3. And then... This is how you adjust the rates. You have low, medium, and fast. We'll keep it on medium. Yeah. Then this is the main uh, yeah, home like, screen, mm -hmm. and this is what we've been trying to do. You have to have the camera facing you in this mode. This is another selfie mode. This is going to be the standard control mode where you fly like this. Well, let's try that. So, you want to do that Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Because we're used to that, you know? Yeah. We want to have a decent experience with this. Something unique that we like to share with our channel that some other channels may not do is we share the good, the bad. As I said, the good, the bad, we try to share it all. We give you the most realistic approach we possibly can. My first attempt was pretty bad too. There, I think it almost took it. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, so you just gotta get that launch down. Now, Abby's not touching any controls. It's flying, it's there, now she's, that was her. Every time I touch a control, your phone vibrates. Ah. Every time I pick a direction. Interesting. So uh, try to film. Try to film. Get a little... Okay, good. Here's up. Okay. How fast it's going. Here's down. It does say to keep it really close, too. It says something like... Here's back. Like 30 yards or something? Like, not to go Forward. very far? Left. Right. Okay. Same. Yeah, keep, ro keep rotating. Get that to face us. This is a selfie camera. And there's there's pretty much no wind right now, guys. So um, that took, what would you say, a half hour to charge it? It just started dropping. I see. I thought it was deciding to be dead again. Don't you think it sounds funny? It sounds like a sweeper or something. It doesn't sound like a drone at all. It's pretty loud. Uh, selfie modes, whenever it's facing you, the controls are reverse, reverse kind of like a headless mode kind of thing. Yeah. Your, your camera quality on your phone looks pretty good, doesn't it? From what I can see, it actually yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, the sun being behind us is not too bad. So this is on a G mode, or that means that there's G mode too. G mode is like with the sensors. Ah, that's our battery already. That was it. Our battery is so short on this. Like, I, we can't even test it. It takes about 25 minutes to charge, 20, 25 minutes. And then it flies for like a minute and a half, doesn't it? Yep. Wow. The whole drone is actually pretty hot. It's too hot for like a little kid to touch. So it gets, it's just cooking in there. That little tiny battery 
is working really hard. Uh, I find it odd that they chose to do six bladed props with this because those are super inefficient. Uh, two bladed props would have been more efficient. Maybe we could have gained 30 seconds or so just by doing that. The flight time is too short for us to even share anything with you guys. Let's hope the videos that we got saved. May not have. Let's hope. Yeah. Didn't even get to have a second to even touch the camera, let alone try out all the features. I mean, a minute and a half the flight concept time. Minute of and a half. I love the idea of this because quite literally I can just fit it into any pocket. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Uh, this is what a pocket selfie drone, in my opinion, absolutely should be. But if we can just get the flight time to five minutes, this would be a winner. But there's no way of doing that. It's a very enclosed unit. There's no accessing the battery. It's somewhat possible we may have gotten one with a bad battery, but I highly doubt that. Uh, this is a pretty new, fairly new product to come to the market. Um, that is just a ridiculously short flight time, but man, I really wanted that to do good. Um, I guess if you're newer to the channel or even if you've stuck around for a while, just know that we really are as open and honest with every product that we show on our channel with you guys. I wanted this to do really good. It didn't do good at all. Uh, we showed you multiple attempts at recharging it to make sure it wasn't just a fluke. Uh, but unfortunately, something that we wanted to do well just doesn't. I say pass. Do not buy this. Save the money from this to apply to something else that we've featured on the channel. We'll have cards uh, pop up on the screen from successful things that we've had on the channel. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for future videos from us where we really show you a true real world example of anything and everything RC. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.